When we say size matters, we weren't talking about height. The bad boy should be in the right places. The bedroom. It's gonna be a great episode. <laughs> Mom, I don't watch this episode. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Anusha and today we've got a really exciting episode because it's what boys are too afraid to ask girls. I guess men afraid to ask women, all of the above. So I am going to be brave for all the boys and I'm gonna answer all of your questions. So take notes, boys, you ready? <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm gonna try and do it as rapid fiery as I can. So type or write fast. Have we forgotten how to write? Type. <laughs> Ready? Go! Yeah, it does. It, it, it does. But you know what? You can work around it and make it count. So try to find different ways to maneuver it so it seems more impactful. Look, if you're gonna say personality wins over looks, you're lying, right? It's, it's not that you have to be Brad Pitt, but there's got to be something about you that attracts somebody to come and talk to you, right? Um, it could be the way your body language is, it could be the way you smile, it could be the way you're dressed, you know, the way you're carrying yourself. Nobody knows your personality till they get that attraction, come and talk to you, but let me tell you, there could be the Brad Pitt out there in the world, and then he is a real... <laughs> and then he's not attractive anymore. You know, I think... Have I? Yes, when I was in school. When we say size matters, we weren't talking about height. We know that. Um, but I guess it does like you, you think oh my god am i too scared to do that uh, how am i gonna wear heels and stuff again you know look if you love love comes in different sizes i'm sure they do okay i'm gonna be honest i have not also because um i've never had the desire to okay but there is nothing wrong with it watch it if you want to if it helps you if it teaches you whatever you want to do please do it um, and do it legally first thing i notice in a guy do i even notice guys anymore <laughs> really it's been a while folks you know the problem is i've never gone on a date I have always met them at work. So like the whole picking me up, it's a stranger, you know, opening the door, we go for dinner, we get to know each other. I haven't experienced that. So maybe I need to start there. You know anyone that wants to take me out on a date? That would be great. <laughs> go on a date <laughs> I can tell you all of them. Um, I have to say this intelligence uh, I think I'm I'm smart but I'm not book smart I'm creative smart street smart you know all of that I find intelligence like you know a little genius like science or maths or something completely opposite to what I am I find that so sexy because I'm like wow <laughs> how do you know all this stuff and then to um, a sense of humor. Oh my God, I love funny guys. I love them. I love anybody that makes me laugh. So those two. Red flag? <laughs> wow, I know you've all come here to see what I'm gonna say. Um, cheating. Big red flag. Biggest red flag. Just be honest. You want to go do your thing? Please do it. But uh, tell me about it and then go. <laughs> so then I can also do what I need to. Yeah, cheating is shit. This is going to be a great episode. <laughs> Please carry on. <laughs> do girls check out boys' asses? You know, I know a lot of girls that do. I don't particularly check out 
their butts because I'm more about the the torso. <laughs> I like the torso. Um, you know, I like the hair. You know, um, that kind of stuff. Maybe shoulders. I'm looking at. I'm looking at all of that. <laughs> Uh, no, you shouldn't go around telling everybody about your sex life if you don't want to. If you're in a relationship and you love each other and you're sharing your info because you have decided to, not because they're making you, because you've decided to, then that's cool, right? And you want to share that, hey, this is my history, that's your history. Mutual respect for the history, right? Whether they're a virgin or they've slept with whoever they've slept with, the fact is you will know that you love them if you don't judge them. I know I can generally say this, girls are not looking for virgins, they're just looking for a good man. Think about it, big difference, not the same, yeah. It's <laughs> means she's not fine, <laughs> it's not fine. But you know this, okay, let's, let's uh, reenact. <sighs> What's wrong Anusha, are you fine? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not fine. What I want you to do now is say, okay, well, I'm here. You want to talk about it. I want to listen to you. If I've done something to upset you, I want to hear it because I want to be better. Um, and then I also want to tell you how I feel. So then we can be better and, and we can really solve this really quickly. But I want you to know that this is a safe and comfortable place for you to talk about it. Okay. But let me tell you something. If you know you've pissed her off, and then you ask her, are you fine? <laughs> and she's saying, yes, you already know what the problem is. Just say sorry. You know, and can I just say, boys and girls, what's the ego here? What's so hard to say sorry? What, what is so hard about saying sorry? I'm sorry, I fucked up. So it's the allure of a bad boy, right? Ooh, it's gonna be like risky and exciting and um, adventurous and all of that. Um, sex would be good, you know, all of that. They're thinking it. At the end of the day, let me tell you, if he doesn't have a brain and he's not a nice person, they will get over it. So the good guy always wins in the end, okay? The bad boy should be in the right places. The bedroom. <laughs> no, they're not comfortable buying condoms. I mean, I think they just got comfortable buying underwear. They just got comfortable buying underwear and bras. Stop judging her. Uh, if the guy's doing it, he's cool. Uh, yeah. Actually, he's probably not even cool because they would think, don't use a condom, that's cooler. No, it's not. No, it's not. So uh, yeah, let the girl buy a condom if she wants to buy a condom. She's doing the right thing. You go, girl. You go. Get what you need <laughs> to keep yourself safe. And please be safe. Yes. What do you mean? We eat food and it digests just like any other human body and animal body and whatever. Like every species on Earth. They shit, so do girls, <laughs> so do women, so does the queen, all of us. Let it out, that's gross. Do not hold that shit back. Literally, don't hold that shit back. <laughs> Mom, I don't watch this episode. <laughs> the age old question. I think you all owe me a lot after I tell you this. Yes, they do. Um, and I'll tell you why. Because some boys don't know what they're doing. Uh, now, this is going to be the biggest life lesson for you boys. So I really think you should listen up. Girls do not have orgasms during sex all the time. It is not possible. It is not scientific factual thing it's not a scientific sorry it's not a scientific factual thing like how men have orgasms during sex like at the end that's the end of sex for them they've orgasmed it's great wow that doesn't mean it works the same way for women who's telling you this nonsense it's not true 
you have to work for her orgasm, okay? So if she's not during, if she's not having it during sex, she's going to have it during oral sex and she can even help guide you so you can learn a few things on where to do what so it happens, okay? But spend a little time. Don't be selfish in bed. A lot of you guys are so selfish that you'll have your orgasm and think, yeah, she must have had one too. How? It's not an on and off button. It's like, oh, I did it, so boop, she's done it too. No, you have to work a little bit and um, be patient. And after you're done, maybe it's now her turn, you know, or beforehand, whenever, but learn, please. It's really bad. And do you know why girls fake it? It's really sad. And honestly, girls, stop doing it now. It's either to feed your ego, to make you feel good, or feel macho in bed, which, by the way, girls, don't do that. You know, because then they're literally going to do it with every girl that they sleep with and they're never going to learn. So don't ever fake it. And two, because they're so bored, they just want to get it over with. That's why they're faking it, because you're not even trying. And they want to get out of there. So they're like, oh, yeah, it was great. OK, no, it didn't happen. Work for it. Thank you. Next question. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, I hope you learned a lot. And uh, boys, I was on your side the whole time. I just want to tell you, it might look like I was tough on you, but it's because tough love will make you better. Okay, thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm Anusha. Please do give me a thumbs up if you liked this, if it helped you. Even secretly, you don't have to like tell everybody if you're shy to have gotten knowledge from this, but it did help you, right? Um, comment below. Girls, comment below if you resonate to any of this. Boys also. Um, and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, yeah. Let's start having some really wholesome, honest, good relationships with real orgasms. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> My parents can't watch this episode ever. <laughs> they still think I'm a virgin, I swear. <laughs>